guys, welcome back to the Tech Session Saturday. That's right, it's Tech Session Saturday, where all we Volkswagen owners get together to fix each other's shit and keep it running for another month. I'm here today with... Dave McQueen. And I'm your host, The Duck Man. <laughs> but we're headed off to Don's place where the Volkswagen um, party is held. Uh, it's an open invite, by the way, anybody that wants to join, hit up rareairvw.com and you can check our event schedule. We do this once a month. This is our first time doing it outside of quarantine. We're going to keep our social distancing so that way we don't, you know, like kill each other. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, uh, well, we're going to have some fun today. There'll probably be some lunch, there should be some Volkswagens, and hopefully a lot of nice people. We'll see how many people show up. Either they're going to be really excited to get the hell out of the house, or they're going to be completely scared and upset and not want to go out at all. So, you know, it could be hit or miss. <laughs> could be exciting either which way. Anyways, you guys, like you like it, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to plug the dingle belly in. We'll be back right after this intro. Well, we're almost at Don's place for tech session. Uh, yes, we are driving the 350Z today. Uh, big Blue here is taking care of us. Not this Big Blue, but this Big Blue. <laughs> Unfortunately, that yes, it is. Aww. No, it wasn't. There's a lot of other things you got that are big, so we're just going to leave it at that. But uh, we're on the way over here. I don't see Don's tech session sign out. Usually it's uh, up on his mailbox. Or is it? Yeah, I do see it. Never mind. I was looking a little too close. It was further off. And... Uh, well, Ruby's taking apart. I got her transmission all apart to replace some gaskets and seals because she was leaking out of both ends worse than any of my ex-girlfriends ever had been. So, uh, and I didn't even ride her that hard, which is kind of funny. That's <laughs> just the way it goes. But we're here. Let's see who uh, is here also. Well, it looks like we got a turnout. Not everybody's showing up in Volkswagens, but that's cool nonetheless. There we go. Good morning, Mr. Wild Bill. What you got working on over here? We have a new member here, Donna. Uh huh. She just joined the club. Uh huh. Just got this convertible from out of Birmingham, Alabama. And she has another convertible that she's selling. It's a 79 with a 73 engine in it. We're going to have a lot of wind noise in this video. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so she's here checking things out and get a few things learning about her car and learning about you know, windshield wipers and stuff like that. Cool. So it's a Super Beetle. What year? 70... Uh, 70, uh, 73, 74? I'm looking at the deck lid. Yeah. The, There's four sets of louvers in the back here. These are the little things you learn. It's uh, 0174. 74, okay. Those deck lids with the four sets of louvers in the back, mm -hmm. 73, 74. It's just one of those things you learn when you've been around the stuff long enough. <clears throat> See, it's got the redded out tail lights, though. Yeah. That's not something I've ever seen before. Usually they have a, um, that's a an Euro, amber circuit in I think it. That's a Euro. Uh, the Euro one has the amber circuit, actually. Without it is American style, but they're oddly a different color. I wonder if somebody painted them. I don't know. You see how the color is just a little off? Yeah, it is. That might be what the case is there. But, um, like I say, she's getting, she's getting introduced to the club. We have, we have another new member. Are you leaving, man? Yeah. All right, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, we're going to have a walk around that in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to come back to that. I want to see what's going on over here. This guy just got, it. he just brought it back. What we got over here? Oh, it's one of my shirts. I don't believe it. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, buddy. The Duck Man. Jim. Nice to meet you, Jim. Nice meet you, so what have you got? 74. I think we talked about it online, right? Oh, yeah. 74 um, Baja. Baja. Uh -huh. Baja. Uh -huh. In the making. In the making. Got the fenders uh, front end. Got the front end put on, but I don't have the fenders put on there yet. I'm you just got the front end. Yep. Since you were talking to me on the uh, Facebook page. Oh, yeah. The Murder Hornet. Yeah, the Murder Hornet, is that the name of this guy? Actually, it's no. not a bad name for it. Because who else named their car Murder Hornet? Nobody yet. Nope. That's still kind of a new name. <laughs> I like it, you know, great. It's Baja. It's got the nice classic front end on it there. The narrow headlights. That is just fantastic. Need some work. I got the paint ordered and everything. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, metallic blue. Metallic blue, cool. Yep, but I'm gonna Very cool. Probably make these black. That'd be good. That'd be good. 
I'm even really I'm gonna throw a little suggestion at you and it might sound silly but maybe carbon fiber what do you think carbon fiber carbon fiber I'm not understanding. You don't know what carbon fiber is? Yeah, I do. That's what they usually put on the Hondas. You find the Honda kids with it, but I think it would give it some texture. And you can get some vinyl that you could slip in the slot. Oh, okay. So that way you get your blue, and then you can carbon fiber it. Oh, okay, so you don't have to paint it. Yeah, you don't have to paint it. And you could just slip it in there as a carbon fiber insert. And then okay. if you, um, well, actually anywhere online will sell it. Uh, anybody that does a vinyl shop probably has some you can find that way, too. You have them cut out and just, whoop, drop them right in. If you want to change the color of them, peel it out and put in a new one. <laughs> That's a good idea. You like that? Oh, yeah. I was just winging it. I just thought it kind of looked good with some texture on the front there. Especially since it's a Baja. It's supposed to look a little tough, and I think that would give it a little something extra. I got the front end for it. Uh-huh. I got the bumper for it, and uh, I've been ordering parts out there. Really. Yeah, I know how that works. Oh, yeah. I looked at my uh, taxes last year and what I spent on parts and <laughs> what I put into parts just for videos alone. That's been business expense. It was a lot of money. Yeah, I put uh, <laughs> I can't even make I, myself broke. I, pay, I cashed in a week's vacation so I could buy parts. <laughs> now I just, let it stay off the account. Here comes Gabrielle from Vocho Wagons. Nice. That's White Boy, my old Beetle. And I can ask him more about the model he had in his last video. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Is she single? Very popular with the Jeep people, he said. I can smell the heat coming off that engine. I wonder if he's overheating a little bit. I have to give him a check. ¿Qué pasó, señor Pato? Hey, ¿cómo está? How's it running? Good? Still having problems with the clutch. Still, you didn't get that washer in there we talked I, about? I just got it, so I was going to do it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I tried it at home, but... Yeah, if you put it on a lift, it'd be real easy. Is anybody there? No, get in there now. <laughs> <laughs> the Beezer! Who's the model in your video? And is she single? Ooh. <laughs> the one with him? The Elizabeth Bray Elizabeth Brayley. She's from oh, the Barbie. Her name. Is she single? Yes. Is she straight? I don't know. Not after you meet her. <laughs> Far out. Coaching. This is something I keep finding, uh, surprisingly, around my neighborhood I keep finding these. This one still has a tail clip on it. The tail clips are removable from this so you have complete access to the engine. And they always get lost over the years. So very often when I find one of these bodies, well, they don't have a tail end. The one that was closest to home I was gonna gonna buy it from him, but he told me if it disappeared one day that uh, don't bother him. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. It just vanished, so I haven't bothered him. Anyway, I know where there's another one for sale. Um, well, it's been sitting for a long time. I don't know if it's for sale, but I tried to harass the guy and see if he's gonna let it go. But uh, it's kind of like a GT40, but it's not actually an exact copy or even quite that close in my opinion. But. I think they're kind of neat. Never tried to sit in one. I am, cur I am quite curious how well I would even fit. <laughs> we'll find out someday. Van again in the bus? What up, Glenn? How you doing? Good, sir. Good to see you. Far out. Uh, if you're All right, how's it going there? Oh, it's awesome. It's like you're dropping nuts. <laughs> all day, all night. <laughs> well, we're about to go and check your clutch cable. The clutch cable uh, Bowden tube looks like it has uh, been a little too tight. Is that right? Correct. So we're going to try to put a little slack in it so that way it, uh, it'll it sag out some. I'm going to give it a little yeah. shaky, shaky. We'll get it right. Pull the motor. Yeah, I don't That's not tricky. That. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I'm going to have to. Huh? Push, yeah, right. push it in on the top. Oh, no, it's not that. I'm going slow, so it won't pull in my head. Push it in on the top. One hand on the top, push it in. And then the other hand, do the nut. You're holding it up from the bottom. Just push it in at the top. There you go. 
But uh, it was pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> To get somebody to lift up. Okay, what he no, you got to watch the part that's coming out. Okay, I'm trying to be the tough I'm guy, and it's stuck. It's stuck. You see? The problem is, like, why is it, why is it the stuck? The, the little hobby shop. Or hey, say stuck in Spanish. Atorado. Up for them used to be ISSI. The blooper hitch. Uh -huh. And now it's white tail. Okay. The ones that wear like. And it's down. Deer antler. And he didn't kill himself. Look at that. Oh, right off the base. Yeah. Kind of but we would come through the clinics on the base. Yeah. Well, we did some of their stuff too. We did inspect all their houses. So Looks nice and clean. Look at that. Okay. No rust. So that's what we work with. Unbelievable. Thank you, letter. No, on the whole car. Look underneath. No rust. No rust. <laughs> no um, rust. But, well, and um, no leaks anyway. So <laughs> no leaks anyway. No. Yeah. You remember what size are the? Uh, only thing that leaks are my girlfriends. What for the for the <laughs> cable? Uh, no, actually. That was on there when I got the car. At, uh, I'll one? bet you it's no, probably like the, a. The boat end. It's probably like a, a okay. 14, 15, yeah. something like that. It's a rear main. It is a little weird. That is actually the way I got the car. It's those nuts way up under there. I don't even know if I can get the camera on them or not. Yeah. Yeah, there's the cable. Yeah. It's way up behind, up, behind up behind everything up under there. Up behind there. You know my 74 uh -huh. uh, Beetle? Beetle? The, used to have that uh, big exhaust leak anyway. Uh-huh. See some what was found. Oh, you blew a head. No, I didn't know I blew the head. No, you blew the head. It blew right through the stud. Yeah, you blew the head. What? Do you, That's unbelievable. You know someone who do weld on the head? Um, no. Um, maybe Burke's machine can do it. Uh, ask, ask um, Bill about them. Bill about yeah, Bill goes in there for them all the time. They could probably have that fixed, but the cost of heads really isn't too bad. You can still get them for about I think 130 dollars. Yeah. That's a Type One head, right? Then yeah, yeah, just get a new one too. I mean, sixteen hundred. Yep. Does that mean you're welding it and servicing it and machining it and getting everything cut back to the way it belongs? It's probably going to cost you half of that. Yeah. Well, you can always ask, I but will, uh, I think that's what you'll discover. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a good head anyway for what he went wrong anyway to it. All right. I bought a set, brand new set. Is what I just uh, uh -huh. placed it now. Then it's doing well, really good. Good. Good, but that's that's unusual. I haven't seen one do that before. And then Usually they crack it, between and, the valves, and then but you just went to here. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's no crack or nothing. Did you overheat it a little bit? Huh? Did you overheat it? No idea. That was my son okay. in the car for 22 years. Yeah, he might have overheated a little bit, and it might have just melted right through that. Mm -hmm. Because that one you exhaust and wait side. Yeah. So it's valve. But that's that's so, definitely a weird thing to happen though. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's yeah, definitely a weird thing, yeah. Actually, yeah, really think anyway, wall through the hole, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so it's about to blow out. Anyway. How's the cylinder look? Good shape. It didn't burn it through there either? No. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Just managed to leak around it. Yeah, oh. just a leak. It sounds right. like uh, you have no muffler. <laughs> <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. I'm the duck shit guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I messaged you on Instagram. Did you? You told me about it. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you came on by. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. You too? And yeah. you are? I'm Spencer. Spencer, okay, yeah. I don't think I caught your name before. Yeah, I was watching YouTube videos and then you said it was a blue a blue beetle that you had done like pans and stuff on. Uh -huh. And you said, oh yeah, some guy in Fort Walton does that. And I said, Fort Walton? That, he must be local. So I looked you up and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, he's Pensacola. So I live just over in Milton. And yeah, I moved out here from Utah and took all three Volkswagens with me. And mm -hmm. they all need some work. So Excellent, excellent. Got to get some knowledgeable people. Cool. So I mean, it's really glad. I'm network. just like every time I meet some people online, it's a surprise to me always, even though it's been so yeah. many people over the years. It's just great to, to see somebody else recognize me and wanted to come on out to our, our uh, tech session. You know, there's always yeah. a lot going on around here. Did you bring your cars? I didn't. You didn't? No, my thing, I almost brought it, but one wheel's locked up and I didn't get a chance oh. to look at it. <laughs> well, I we could have looked at it here if you got it on a trailer. Yeah, I got to tow a BMW over to, I think, first. That's not as fun, though. Got to get it sold, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's more trouble than it's worth, so. I hear you. Yeah. 
Well, all right. Well, so please you enjoy. Got a Seventy-four thing, seventy-three Super Beetle, and a sixty-two Beetle. Okay. They all need work. So. Well, we're gonna have to see them. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, please enjoy. We've got some pizza coming, so we'll be having lunch shortly. This is something we awesome. do uh, first Saturday of every month. Mm -hmm. So you're always invited to come out, both you guys. So come on out, bring your Volkswagen with you. If there's something you want to work on, we'll get you up on a lift yeah. or something. We'll work well, on it together. GT, it looks like. Huh? Oh, that's yours? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> See, there it is, that removable clip I was talking about. You just simply unbolt the hinges and you can take the whole clip off. But oh, the entire man. engine is accessible. How's it going, Don? Isn't this cool? Yeah. Have you ever seen one of these kits? Lots. There's a lot of them in my neighborhood for some reason. I keep this trying kit. to buy them, but nobody ever wants to sell them. I've never seen this kit, but I like it. It looks like a GT40. Yeah, yeah. A Ford GT40. I want to try to sit in it, too, but there's no seats in there. I'm curious how well I'd fit. Uh, this is cool. Got a Weber Progressive on it. But he has no cooling at all. That's not good. Actually, I didn't well, even notice that. No, That's... he does have cooling. He's got, I wonder, if he put an electric fan on that oil cooler, that might be enough for this. No. No? No, it's got to get air over those cylinders. If it were a motorcycle, I'd say you're okay, but this is... This it's is not uh, going to get a lot of air. Unless there was some ducted air coming in from the sides, but there's not. It's a Type 4 also. It is. Yeah, it's a Type 4. I don't know. That's why I was trying to call you guys. My buddy No, it definitely needs some cooling on it. Yeah, it does have the fan, but the air is blowing out in the uh, atmosphere here without the cover on it. Yeah. Weber Progressive. Yeah, it's Type 4 with no, uh, with with only half of the yep, cooling no, no system. Well, if you look, when this is shut, yeah, whatever cover, I know there's supposed to be a cover on that, right? Yes. When this is shut, there's no way that cover would fit. Uh oh. I'd put a, I'd go ahead and put a 16 or a 1776 or something in it. Isn't this what Rob is looking for, or something like this? Yeah. Yeah. Cliff said there's a lot of them in his neighborhood. Yeah. That that is yeah a lot of them actually. There's another one also in Alabama, right when you cross the border. I've been looking at for a while. I haven't yeah. knocked on the door yet, but uh, the guy that was going to sell it. I'm sure when she gets back, I'll let her know you're here. She likes talking to you. But you gotta have. Yeah, the one guy in my neighborhood that had one of these closest to home, he said, uh, he wanted too much for it. And then when he said, um, don't bother me if it, when it disappears, I stopped bothering him because it's gone. Oh, man. <laughs> I got to give you a tour of my uh, Vanagon. A Vanagon? Come on. Is yeah. it gone? It's a van again. You're going to have it crushed? No, it's going to be a van again. Crushing things is a big joke between Don and I because Don has a tendency yeah. to crush things that shouldn't be crushed. I only crush two bay window buses. Oh, Don, only two only bay, two window, bay buses. window buses. Oh, jeez, Don. And that 56 oval that I have. You're going to have the oval crushed? No. At least let me get the deck lid off it first. All right. <laughs> this is what I totally gutted out. This is yours? Around. This is mine. I thought this was Carlos's. No, this is mine. He has one kind of like it then. This is a totally gutted. Look, look. Get the engine compartment. I've degreased it, pressure washed it. You know what? Do a little touch of paint. You and me, we could work on a deal here. Yeah, oh, no, yeah we'll no, get the plasma miss. cutter out. I'm going to cut this whole deck off of here. Yeah? Yeah, I can use that. Mm -hmm. Come over here. Here's the. Uh, here's what was inside it. Check out. Yeah, it had so many rats in it. Cabinetry. Yeah, Vanagon. Vanagon, good quality. The Vanagon, this, this German plywood is very good. Plywood, but look, get a, get a picture. Not that oatmeal board crap, huh? Oh, you had the squirrels in there. Oh, I had, no, these were rats because I have a picture of the rat. I'm looking at there was one that was alive in there. I caught, I, I, well, I didn't caught him shoot. by the tail. Yeah, I caught him by the neck. The neck <laughs> with a trap. Man, <laughs> <laughs> gone. So tell me about these hubcaps on here. Uh, I just popped them on there yesterday. I, I wire brush the wheels. Well, they look like your domed hubcaps for an early, they early do, and they fit Volkswagen. On here, they yeah. squeezed over the. Uh, they pop right on. The interesting. I've never seen that on a van again before. It gave an unusual appearance. Yes, I, I, but I did. I wire wheeled the wheels off real good. Uh -huh. Painted them with uh, black rust oleum, and then polished up that set of hubcaps I had, and they popped right on. It was a tight fit, but they popped on there. Interesting. You can be able to get them back off. Uh, be hard. Why am I smelling Windex over here? Because I degreased this thing and okay. disinfected it. Trying to get all the rat <laughs> All wet in out. there, Don. Yeah, so that's why I have to shop back here. I'm going to shop back it and then blow dry it. 
Give it a nice little sucking and blowing. Leave it to Don. But yeah, that's a totally good advantage on. Inside, you can get a good picture of the engine that's going in it. All right. Nineteen one point nine water boxer. Wasser boxer. A wasser boxer. Wasser boxer. Yes, I got to do. Uh, <laughs> I do the head gasket job on it. Typical of the water boxer. Yeah. Why don't we just shave the water jackets off of it? It's got to be water cool. No, it doesn't. Sure does. Yeah, no, it these these originally had air cooled motors in them the yeah, first two or three years. And then the Wasser Boxer, what you do is you, you have the the water jackets machined off of them, and then you put some of the super big like 110 millimeter pistons or something in it, and build yourself a three liter engine. What, three? Air cooled? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? They call them the Type Five engines by the way. Type Five. Well, that's what they call it because it would have come next. Yeah, but so and many the Wasser people are putting those Subarus or Ford engines. Yeah, but the Wasser check. Boxer was the successor to the Type Four. It came after that, but they went back to some Type One components, which was kind of interesting. Mm. Some stuff was good enough, so they went back. So it was like a weird hybrid engine. Yeah. So it was the next thing. But the problem was they were notorious for leaking. You know, so was my ex, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, Vocho Wagons? One down, one no, no, no. down. Oh, no. <laughs> one down. So real men do it. So real men do it? Yep. And you're still not taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, a good eight, nine, ten inch lift you got there? <laughs> look at that. This one was not even like, putting any pressure into it. That's a blue nut. <laughs> it was sad. No, actually, that means I did put that in there because the blue nuts that I have, uh -huh. these in this color, came off of a Carmen Gear that I used to have. What about this one? What is that? <laughs> it was still there. Was it a bunch of spacers? But they're on the other side of the of the arm. Well, then I don't know what it is anymore. <laughs> no, not on this side. Maybe of the I arm. was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the other side of the arm. I mean, give you a more splat. Yeah, it looks like you're out of there now. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if the camera could see it, but right there, yeah, you can see it. Woo! That's the clutch cable going through the clutch lever, and my hand is on the exhaust, and that hurts. Ow. Still hot. <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah, baby. Okay, then I need to push the clutch forward, or... No, I don't. You no. do not push the clutch forward. Right now, you want to keep some tension on that cable, uh -huh. all that you can, because if it comes unhooked up front, then you're going to have to take the pedals all apart. So he definitely don't want to do that. Okay, okay so what you want to do is you want to add J Bug videos. You want to put the washers in, right? Yes. So right over here. Right here. Right. You need to pull that cable out. Um, yeah, right there. Pull that way. Okay. Now you might be able to find some washers you can slot in there and then crimp them in. It's gonna be kind of hard to do. Oh shit, it is. Yeah, you're gonna have to like pull in the middle you know of the what, cable. No, let me put some WD in. No, that won't help. No. It's gonna make your it's gonna make your hand slippery. Okay, Gabriel put a spacer on there. You can see it, nice shiny part. He cut a piece of metal and slipped it right over that. Put the clutch cable back in. You see it's way up there. We already measured it to make sure it's going to reach way back to the lever. And it looks like it's going to go. So, in he goes. Okay, I wing nut it. My liver hurts. Your liver hurts? I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> Usually it's old people that say that. I'm old. <laughs> You're younger than I am. I don't hear that shit. I'm like... You got like no gray hair compared to me. Heck, you have most of your hair. <laughs> oh yeah, that is. You know why I lost all my hair? Your ex-girlfriend? Well, that too, but I stand closer to the sun so it burns it off. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd reach up again. That was a great thumbnail image. Just like a regular car. Oh, I see. I get it. Ah. Thumbnail image time. This time, don't try to drop your head. Pulling the lever this way? I would never. Oh, sure. As if they need it. Yeah, I know. Just can't do that hang now. Then tight. Then when it goes like this over the top, you need to be careful because. 
Show us about the G-spot maneuver. How'd you get that clutch cable on? You gave it one of those? Pull that lever back and then you then you nut it on it? try that trick. As a woman who also loves women, yes, it's easy. I know this. Why that's so hard? What? You gotta give it the little come here. Come here. Come here. Three for ten dollars when you get done. Three for ten dollars? Oh yeah. Well, no, they're trying to give those away. You can't give those shirts away. Watch your. Nobody wants to buy them shirts. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I did yeah. something. You did something. I did. What'd you do? I, I put. Oh man, he missed it on video. You didn't get video of me putting yeah, his nut in there. Yeah, you're coughing up there. You blew it. I'm blowing his nuts, apparently. I didn't blow his nuts. I got a little bit of it yet. Yeah, I got the... Yeah, we were talking about it. You got it in there. Now he has to tighten it up. Oh, yeah. I do the dirty job. You know how easy it is to do on a Type 3? I made a special socket. Probably easier. I made a special socket so you can go from the engine compartment and turn it. I was talking. Sorry. We're working. I'm recording <laughs> what year, what year is this, There's a 73? Well, it's a Frankenstein. What is it, 73 with... It wants to be a 68. With a 68? It wants to be a 68. It's trying so hard to... Did you bring it? <laughs> Which one? Okay. In the making. What's going on? Now, my question. Bocholito. With the Super Beetle. Super Beetle. Did the Super Beetle have the air line for us? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, because mine. The later one should. Yeah. Yeah, because mine's a 74. Mine's not tagged as a Super Beetle. It's, I do, but. The one that's here? Yeah. I don't think it is a Super. It's got a flat windshield, right? Yeah. 74, yeah, you're a standard Beetle. But it's got the air vents in the back. Yeah, they have them. So did you get on there? It's good? Uh, Can you drive it away now? Yeah, probably. Is it tight enough? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I want to know. Well, you won't know. You the gotta... only way I need to press, yeah. So do I bring it down already? And then yeah, it's got to come down. And then you got to step on the pedal. I want to, but I don't know. Well, like too many people talking at once. Okay. You'll need to get up there and step oh, on the pedal, and no, well, no one's gonna listen to me. You gotta step on the pedal. It's gotta have, I think it's about an inch and a half play. Yeah, an inch. Yeah, is it only an inch? Yeah, okay. half an inch to an inch play. Less than I thought, okay. Yeah. It has to have just enough. Anything different from that is just personal preference, but don't make it tighter than that. Okay. What happened here? You dent your door? Huh? Where? Right there. Looks like you hit a pole. <laughs> it's just probably from where I cleaned it, it just looked different. Yeah. You rubbed it too hard when you cleaned it? Probably. So you put a dent in it when you cleaned it? <laughs> yeah, it's got to come down. You ready? Okay, well, right. okay, there's people right here. All right, clear, people. Yeah. Clear to Pentejos. <laughs> okay, everybody's out. <laughs> what is it, just this little lift right here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, everybody get out. You know, you know, you need to learn two more. Two more. Two. Pentejote. Pentejote. Big tall people. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Pejitos. Uh -huh. Little, the little. People. Yeah. <laughs> little assholes. Yeah. Big <laughs> asshole. I learned the other day, um, ay carajo. I learned ay carajo the other day. Ay carajo? Yeah. I didn't know that one. <laughs> and what about coño? Coño. I know it, but I don't remember it. It's been a while. It's like when you hit yourself, it's like, ah, it? Conyo. Conyo, okay. Okay, that one's interchangeable, okay. Yeah, on Spanish it's all different uh, meaning. Gotcha. Yeah. That one's a Mexican style. I think it depends on what, how custom it is, how... Is it low enough for you to get in there? Yes. Can you get in there? I can't. <laughs> Yeah, I can. You can poke it with a stick, too. Let me go around. Uh-oh. You think it's good? Yeah, On the first me. try? I don't know. You know what I will try before you lower the whole thing? See, you got a good engage anyway. That's what we're working on. Yeah. Check it out. It'll probably engage just fine, but... That'll piss you off. You got to readjust that weight. Readjust that 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 oh, that's too much. Okay. That's got to be tighter. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, that's too much. Travel, yeah, too much. How much you got now? Too much? It's a little, a little too loose. You gotta have a couple more turns on it. Oh, two or three more turns. Yeah, more turns. Yeah, a couple more turns.
Yeah. How much it should be the the plate? The, he says half inch to an inch. That's I thought it was a little more than that, but no, it's it's got a little too much in there. It's about two inches right now. Well, yeah, it's in the book. What happened when you got a long legs anyway? Now it's too tight. Too tight? How many turns you put on it? Look, come check it out. I'm coming to check it out. Oh yeah! <laughs> I forgot to tighten the lug nuts. Stay where you're at. Oh, I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it for you. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> the Batmobile lost its wheel. <laughs> Yeah, that was going to be me. <laughs> Actually, you are the Batman too, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Is that your band right here? No, it's the single crew. Don't over tighten them now. That bar puts a lot of torque in there. <laughs> I think you're good. Oh, here comes the man of the hour. Cardinal? There he is. It's the man of the hour. This is the guy right here, the celebrity. Never mind the duck oh, man. man, they got the pizza guy. That's it, he's a star. <laughs> the pizza guy, yeah. Test number two. Test numero dos. Look at him in the back of that bus treasure with the ribs. Please. I got it. Thank you. Okay, but. Don! Sign it! You got it? That was the problem. Looks like we resolved it. Do it again. Do a burnout. <laughs> burnout. That's a good test. That's a good test, I think. Sounds better than did when he first got it. Yeah, he says increasingly over time it was getting worse. It would bounce more and more when he tried to start the first gear. That's good? Okay. Fantastic. Not doing that transmission hop, huh? Huh? No more hop. No more hop. No more hopalito. Ah! Well, come get some pizza. Yeah. Pizza time. Anybody using the lift? You are. Man, you got first line, huh? I did. I did. Beep, beep. I need to adjust this shit, too. Oh, I hate that. That's beep, beep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got going on in here? Look at this. Oh my god, it's chicken and peppers? We never did that before. Yeah. You get in there. Yeah. As long as it's not that pineapple garbage. Oh. Yeah, you too. It's not pizza anymore. Then. Somebody got punched in the face. Yeah, eat that pineapple crap. Look at this. Okay, we got mushrooms. I won't touch that. Look at little dicks. Pepperonis. More ronies. It's good. I'll take meat? the mushroom. No. You eat the mushroom? Hell yeah. It's the closest What's I What's his name? Pablo? Pablo. <laughs> Eating the mushroom? <laughs> and Gabriel is going to balance out his rear suspension because the one side was a little higher than the other. Where? He's having fun turning a ratchet with some of these bolts, which thankfully aren't too awfully rusty. Some of this stuff I had apart some time ago. This car used to be mine. White boy, El Gringo, ain't that the truth?
can't trust this guy. <laughs> he just put it together in English, that's why there's a problem. Yeah, I put it together with English, so Spanish is different. It doesn't translate. No. Nuvicate everything before we start up. Nuvicate? Why are we screwing? Actually, it's, the stuff is still pretty clean. It's still pretty clean. There you go. Do the other one I don't think it really even needs it, actually. The stuff is like really clean under here. And that, you can't get the lube in there anyway. You gotta go in from the back side. Mm hmm. You have some encouraging words for the rest of us watching this video? Yes! Pay somebody else to do it. Grow taller. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Is that what happened to you? up higher on the lift. Jeez. <laughs> no, I like it like that. He's only five feet tall. And we did, we did it. Some people do, I think. <laughs> we, we tried to do the clutch cable a few minutes ago. And <laughs> I'll raise it up so I can at least stand and do it instead of when my knees are trashed. He's happy. He's happy? He's happy. He's happy on his knees. He ain't complaining. I am happy. Happy? Oh, El Japalito. Oh, you got that one more? Yeah, I guess. What are you doing? Four axles? Four axles? Four axles? That's still bad. Alright, Gabriel right now is putting a spring plate cover back on the passenger side. We were using this as a baseline to get his approximate angle on his spring plate. Now in order to do that, we had to use this chicken foot tool, this is what I call it here. This guy will put pressure on the spring plate and allow us to pull it off the bump stop on the bottom. At that point we measured the angle, it was at 12 and a half. Now this is a lowered beetle. I don't remember what the exact measurement is for stock, you guys will have to compare your charts, but I think it's roughly around 20 somewhere, so it's roughly 8 degrees lower on this side. The other side, however, was off by about two and a half degrees. So we had to do plus four on the inner and then minus four on the outer, I think is the way we set it up, which moved it approximately the amount we needed. And it was off by less than half a degree, which gets you in the ballpark. The reason we did this is the driver's side was sagging just a little bit, and that made all the difference in the world to get this thing leveled up. Uh, white Boy was, I guess, always a little crooked for a while, but over time, most Volkswagens will usually sag on the left-hand side due to the driver's weight. They don't usually have passengers, but they always have a driver. That's it, see? You just call me fat. Yeah. Well, I was the one who was driving at first, but I was skinny then. <laughs> I'm a fat boy now, though. <laughs> I started gaining weight after Eleanor was in my life. <laughs> and that's the truth. Yeah. All right, well, you just about got that bolted back together. We got those three bolts left on the axle over here. Then the ones on the other side put the bottoms of the shocks back in. I mean, about 20 minutes to get the thing back on the ground rolling. It took us like 15 minutes to do both sides. Oh, yeah. And actually, that's probably not that far off. 15 minutes to take it apart, maybe? Yeah. On both sides? Yeah. Took you a little more time to get the, the tools picked out and everything else, but it doesn't take that long. Really, it doesn't. And then we got the measurements set up. Now, this beetle was already lowered, which made it a lot easier. We didn't have to take apart quite so much. And the spring spring plates and torsion bars were not under that much tension because the uh, preload on it was much lesser than that of a stock beetle. So it made it a lot easier to go with stuff apart. Now, I don't have all that video, unfortunately, for you guys that are watching. But nonetheless, we've made these measurements. We got this thing even. And that's the gauge right there that made all the difference in the world. I had to run home and grab it earlier while he was disassembling stuff, and then I had to poop when I got home. Yeah. Yeah, my dog man. <laughs> as long as it looks right, it's all that matters. The same thing with my custom car. That's what they're saying. Does it look right or does it measure right? <laughs> as long as you're not worried about it. I'm not. Uh, my car was hand built anyway, so none of that matters. And even the exhaust is crooked on there. See it? Keep off all night. Watch all hands, fingers, toes, and your pickle. His children under 25 next to you. <laughs> you see the sign next to you on the wall there. It says no women. It does. It says no women and children. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It says it. <laughs> It still looks higher on this side, but it's not settled. No, it's not settled yet. 
like I think that's pretty good yep what do you think oh, yeah. put a level on top yeah, see. Good, yeah put a level yeah, on a round surface <laughs> yeah now it doesn't oh, look on a slab. your exhaust is still a little crooked though that's throwing me no, up that's good I won't notice when I'm drunk what it is yeah, yeah, you can put a jack on either one side and lift bumper it up looks great. <laughs> oh the bumper looks fantastic I'll tell you when I get home if it scratches. Yeah, well, whether you hear scratching noise. We'll right. see if it scratches on the way Take in here you too. To the tiltometer. The tiltometer. Yeah. That's what we're gonna call it from now. It's yeah, for, the tiltometer. For uh, pinball machines, we put this on there and put a little, you know, a reed switch on there and it activates if the pinball oh, is. Buggy, buggy, <laughs> <laughs> the tiltometer. A tiltometer. A tiltometer. Yeah. A tiltometer. <laughs> I, I might want because the nose on that just looks goofy hot. I know it's set the level, but doesn't that look awful high? Yeah, naturally they're kind of high anyway, but that's just yeah. the way it is. Show me some tricks with the lights. I just love these lights on here. Look at that. Very nice. Let's see some headlights. There they are. Oh, those are high beams. <laughs> Throwing LEDs on that was the best part of our respect. You missed what she did. <laughs> Let's see yours. My LEDs? Yeah. Or my what? <laughs> yeah. You want to see mine? Yeah, show us what you got. Go ahead. Do it. Whip it. Not in front of your daughter. Yeah, my daughter's here. <laughs> Give me a couple of beers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, those are not the same ones. Okay. It's just without the halos? Yeah. yeah same there you things. go. Same thing, but without the halos. It has a paw print in it. There you go. But he does Copyrighted have music here. You gotta keep making noise so we don't pick it up in the video. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Mine aren't impre as impressive. They're still impressive. I like them. Most impressive headlights are right here. They're high beams. Actually, high beams are pretty impressive, but if you could make turn signals out of them, now that would really be impressive. <laughs> Individually. This should make him go pokey one at a time. I, I can't see that. <laughs> 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 you can see it through a sports bra anyway. I can see anything. That's right. So, yeah, I have sex ray didn't vision. Get the halos or anything like that. Mm -hmm. While Bill was like, "Who's Greek?" and went and got some with that, and then. Yeah. So like I said, I, I saw it, your and I was like, I need some LEDs because it's so dark I'm over there. I'm starting to trend. And yeah. Because I was the first one to do that. Yep. And I saw his also when we did the... Uh, I was going to make I some. Now they're like, we you can to, buy them. Uh, Leopard <laughs> Yeah. We also had almost like yours. And uh, in fact, actually his are almost like mine. You know where I got the idea? From what? Ellen's boss. Okay. Ellen has them too? Ellen has cool LEDs that are bust. When I saw that, when I was putting this together, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, no, I 
<laughs> that I drove this once at night and went up those headlights and trash. I just needed something brighter for that area. Well, and then when I, the passenger side seal beam, when I took it out, I took the ring off that holds it on, right? Uh huh. And pulling the bulb off, the lens fell off. <laughs> Boink! Fully intact, gorgeous. I've got it sitting on top of one of my lamps in my living room now. They're what, seven inches? Yeah. Seven inch headlights, standard round, seal beam. Yep. Okay, whatever fits in there. And everybody who markets those, some markets them for Jeeps. Cool yeah. Hmm? Yep. Cool. But they drop right I'm in. Okay. Yep. Why? Same size. Your skin got all chicken skin. Type. Chicken skin. Chicken skin. Chicken skin. Oh. Whoa, oh, that's turkey skin. Oh, both sides. Oh! Sorry, for the, for the show, Pato skin. Okay. Vato skin. Vato. Vato, vato, skin. vato skin. Hey, Vato, show me your yeah. skin, man. Vato skin. Vato, skin. vato and Vato, that's really uh, Yeah, close. really close, yeah. Vato, Vato. Vato, duck skin. It's, I still, anytime <laughs> I see, see an auto zone, it's your fault. Why is that? <laughs> vato, vato, vato zone. Oh, vato that's zone. Carlos. Yeah. Carlos well, is always say? saying Vato Zone. <laughs> I heard you say it around Carlos once in That was probably what it was, yeah. Carlos actually said it to me, Vato Zone. Is he, now he's a pet boy, isn't he? Or? Yeah, he's pet boys now. Is he still, or did... As far as I know. Because I thought he was going bye-bye because they shut down all the stores. They shut down the stores, but the service center's still open. Now he's doing that, and he's, he's flipping doing... tires around and oh, shit, really? yeah. Good, at least he kept his job. Yeah, I hear you. Huh? Yeah, he's an essential. Off. Let's see you do a donut over here. A donut? Hit right, the soft I want sand. To see it I like engage, donut. hover, and then take off up between the trees. And don't burn up that clutch on the way out. Oh, I might. I'm still getting used to the new clutch. <laughs> yeah, don't burn it. Burn it. Well, if I burn it, that's just another lesson that I get to learn. Right that's here. it. Then we'll change out your clutch next. Yeah, no, I was just dying laughing because that was when I was growing up in Southern California. Mm -hmm. Just nailed it. Fiber weed. The low riders, you know, the dudes with their pants pulled up here in the cutoff shirts, get the seat and slide down so they're barely staring over the door. The biggest festival every year was Cinco de Mayo. You did a little bit of a burnout, huh? Not really. All right, great day at tech session today. Did you learn anything? I did, I got to put a nut on. You got to put the nut on instead of getting a nut off. Yes, huh? I got to put a nut on. <laughs> Which nut was it? Oh, clutch cable? The clutch cable or just a nut, the big wing nut that goes on the end there. You learn how to do that, it's something you will be doing on your Karma Gear upcoming soon. Because I was taller than, than Gabrielle. It Quite a bit taller than Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel Vocho Wagons, you guys have seen him. He's got his own YouTube channel. I so suggest you go over there and subscribe to him. Um, he does his own stuff, uh, a lot of which is in Spanish speaking language. So if you don't speak English or if you'd like to watch something that's a little bit different with a little twist, and yes, you can usually understand what he's saying if you have an idea as to what the mechanics are, then I suggest you should subscribe to him. Check out youtube.com forward slash Vocho Wagons. You'll find a link down below in the video description. As always, you want to see our stuff? Hit up. Dog oh, shit. Net. <laughs> That's right. It's up on the website. You'll find Bee's Patreon. You'll find her Instagram, her YouTube page, and all the stuff that she's doing, as well as my multiple YouTube channels, my Instagram, my Patreon. Please donate to me, you guys. Please, please, please. <laughs> but donate to her, especially. Yes. She's the big supporter here on my channel. You're probably my biggest supporter. I'm glad to have you here. Really, I am. And hopefully, we we'll get you a little minion to run run around with you on the show coming up too. How do you feel about that? I don't want any kids. That's not the kind of minion I meant. Oh, like I meant an underling? An, like an adult female minion. Okay, she's into that. <laughs> I got one that keeps flaking out, but that's what just everybody does. Whenever I say I'm trying to get a friend to help me out with something, they always freaking disappear. And that's the same case here. Is she hot? But, oh yeah, there's a lot of little hotties that I'm trying to bring on here, so we're working on that right now. So this is uh, this is something we're going to continue doing with my YouTube channel here on Duckman Cycles as well as Vivi the Duck VV is doing Volkswagen related stuff and uh, having some attractive females which uh, B is going to be the madame who organizes and runs and keeps them moving and uh, well I get to just be the the stupid idiot that stands aside that uh, that uh, 
tosses money in and makes things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, lick you, like you, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.